everybody, it's Re, or Rebel Inc.'s Art, here with another character design challenge. For these, as you know, I take a prompt from Soft Hoof's Aesthetic Generator. Um, there's a link to that in the description below. I take a prompt that gives me a solid idea, and then I turn it into an illustration. Now, as a heads up, I do not just take the first one it gives me. I flip through until I find something that I feel I can make a good illustration out of. So, no, you're probably not going to see any furry furries or capitalism is the scourge of the earth dad. Well, maybe that last one, but we'll see. Now, today's prompt was garden deity, and I had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to accomplish straight off. I wanted somebody who looked serene, peaceful, flowers in her hair and a soft flowing dress, kind of the way we always picture Persephone from Greek mythology. So coming up with the rough sketch was pretty easy. I got her basic pose set up and then I started filling in details before I headed into the line art phase. The eyes were something I messed around with quite a bit. You will end up seeing, I end up replacing her right eye with a rose. I just wanted something to pull in the whole garden aspect just a little bit more. Overall, I just wanted her to have a very soft, very serene feeling to her. Much like a nice, calm walk through the garden. I will apologize, it will probably be a common theme of mine to draw really thick eyebrows on my characters. It's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> I like to make them expressive. Originally, I had started out thinking I was going to give the character very fluffy hair, kind of like a tree sitting in the center of the garden. I ended up going with a softer, more wavy feeling. I think mostly just because I know I have a habit of creating very fluffy hair for my characters, and I wanted to give the opposite a try. I kind of wish I would have gone with the tree aspect. I feel like it could have added quite a bit to the design. One of my main ideas for this was having her dress have a belt that kind of represented a garden path. I made it look like those wonderful mismatch garden tiles that we see frequently in those nice picturesque gardens always in the magazines. With that, I headed into the line art. If I'm being completely honest, I really wish I would have pushed this design idea more. When we get to the finished project, we'll see. I don't really feel like I did everything I could have for this prompt. And that's okay, you know? In the end, not every single drawing is going to be our best. And it's necessary to create the works that aren't as good in order for us to learn from them. I wish I would have incorporated more garden ideas into this design. In the end, I ended up sticking flowers in her hair and creating a couple different flower stamps and spreading them across her dress. Which I suppose wasn't a bad idea per se, but I wish I would have gone more detailed with it. Along with that, I wish I would have incorporated more common themes we see in gardens. Potentially something having to do with a pond or trees. In the end, she feels just more kind of like somebody who really likes flowers rather than a garden goddess. And that's alright, you know? They're not all gonna be winners. And she was definitely a good learning experience.
I was having a bit of technical difficulties while working on this picture. Some of the buttons and tools in the art program simply weren't responding. So, there were a couple things I had to do a bit more manually than I would have preferred. But, in the end, I think it didn't really inhibit me all that much. I'm now going through and cleaning up all the rough colors I just threw down to make sure I like how everything melts together. put a nice soft gradient onto the skirt so that it had a bit more color to it. I liked all the greens, but I did want to make sure it had, you know, a bit more color diversity. Didn't want it all to kind of melt together into a, a big old green puddle. Here I threw freckles on her to give her a bit more of a sun-kissed feeling. Plus, I just really like freckles. They're definitely another guilty pleasure of mine. I always add in two different tones of freckles to make them feel a bit more realistic. I find when you're approaching freckles, it's important to make sure they match the skin tone and to make sure you're putting them in the proper places that freckles would form. There's some great articles online about it. Here I am throwing the flowers into the hair. Did some nice little buds. I wanted them, th them to feel soft and small like they'd grown there naturally. Here I am, creating some flowers. I went through the process of making them into stamps so I wouldn't have to draw each flower individually. However, I forgot that the stamps in this program end up being slightly transparent and only one color. In the end, I wish I would have gone through the process of drawing them all individually. But I'd been kind of distracted throughout this whole process, so it would have already taken a lot longer than I had wanted it to. I ended up deciding not to use those purple flowers because of their hole in the center. I felt they looked a bit too much like stars. In the end, the stamps did give her a very soft look, but I feel like it was just overall much too subtle. You can see the finished picture here now, as I'm finishing up the shading and the final details. I think in the end, the main thing I learned from this is to not try and take too many shortcuts, and to not be afraid to push my own boundaries. In the end, I can't be bummed about the time I spent on this, because I did learn quite a bit from it. Plus, she is still pretty pretty. And I do love those freckles. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. I'll be back with another character design challenge next week. If you want to follow along, again, the link to the aesthetic generator is in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.